All right, peeps, another video for you today. I wanted to talk about a conversation that we had on Twitter just the other week. Um, it's all brought up by Alexander Cortez, my good friend, big fitness OG on Twitter. Uh, I believe he has a YouTube channel too, Instagram. Check him out. But one of the things that was being talked about, and this is like a perennial topic in the manosphere, is about the wall. And you guys probably know that for women, the wall is about 30 years old. That's kind of where most Manosphere red pill people will say that women really start to go downhill. They hit their, you know, their shelf life. Some guys make it even earlier and they'll say that it, women hit the wall in their early 20s, but uh, <laughs> we won't really go into that too much. The main point here is that these same guys who talk about a woman's wall also talk about a man's wall. And so the common red pill refrain is that women age like milk and men age like wine. And the implication being that men will age for well into their 40s and, they're, and they'll just continue to appreciate and value. So it's this big thing that like women have all the sexual power in their early 20s, maybe their full 20s, but then once you get into the 30s, then sexual power in the marketplace shifts to men and men have a very very slow decline and don't really peak until their 40s and after that you know they still maintain a huge amount of value and the reason this is talked about is predominantly to let guys know that you shouldn't really settle or commit to a woman because her value is going to decline relative to yours so yeah if you're in your 20s as a guy sucks because girls your age are going to get all the attention but you know, don't commit to a girl before she turns 30 because your value is going to start to go up just as her hers goes down. So like, you know, the implication is that you are somehow acceding to her sexual strategy and that this is a big mistake and you shouldn't do it. But what Alexander was pointing out, and which I think is totally true, um, is that in practice, most guys do not in improve with age. They, they don't. And this is what what Nils also pointed out on Twitter. Nils is an erotic hypnotist from the Netherlands. Um, so I'm going to have his link in the bio too. So you guys can check him out. And we were all kind of having this conversation about it. Trying to figure out, you know, try, just having a little bit of a, a discussion about this stuff. Because guys will talk as if this is just a universal thing that men improve with age. But it's absolutely not. And the reality is that... And I think this was Nil's point, is that most guys, their value also collapses as they get to 30. Their health starts to go down, they get dumpy, they're out of shape. And his point is very well taken, which is that it's much easier for a guy who's 25 to date a woman who's 25 than it is for a guy who's 40 to date a woman who's 25. And I think this you know, sheds an important light on the whole situation that you shouldn't get deceived by this theory of, of men having their value improve over time, that that means that it's gonna be easier to get younger women, because it's not. And the most important thing about this whole comment is that most men do not actually improve with their value. So and I, I think this is really important to get this through guys' heads. I was in the wine industry. So I actually know a good amount about wine. I have wine degree, WSET diploma. It's kind of like the highest, it's the highest degree you can get beneath a master of wine. So I know quite a bit about wine and, you know, you have this refrain about men aging like wine, but the reality is that most wine is best drunk young and forgotten. Um, most wine is not meant for aging. It literally does not have a long shelf life and it won't improve with age. It'll, it'll fade and in some cases will collapse. There's only very, very specific wines from specific locations that are made in a specific way that actually improve with age and maybe won't even become very good until they've been aged a long period of time. And I think that's a better metaphor for men. So you want to take the men age like wine metaphor. I, I agree with it because I interpret it differently. There are some men who really will continue to improve and become more and more refined as they get over and their value will go up. But it's a very small percentage because most men don't work to become elite. Most men don't take care of themselves as they age. They don't continue to improve their financial and social condition. And they tend to just collapse into misery, resentment, poor health, 
and Forgotten Dreams. So it's important to remember that. I'm not saying that you're going to be that statistic. You shouldn't ever aim to be that statistic. But we should be aware that while men do have the capacity to improve with age and to have a longer shelf life, let's say, in value than women, because men have so many more variables. First off, a man looking more mature will usually increase the sense of masculinity around him. So if he's in shape, but he looks older, that usually makes him look more masculine. Whereas if a woman's in shape, but she looks older, it doesn't make her look more feminine. She could still be beautiful, but it it's a different, you know, feminine energy is very childlike. And so just being blunt, younger women, there's an automatic, it's not just about their fitness and how well they take care of themselves. Even having these sort of more nubile features is generally considered to be more attractive from the feminine side. Whereas like a 20 year old boy who looks boyish is not considered to look very much like a man. So a lot of younger guys actually wish they looked older, but you know, then they get older. So you want, once you get older as a man, you want to start to take care of yourself more. But the point here is that a man can extend his shelf life, but because he has more variables, looks work in his favor and status and social power and knowing himself more as a man, all this stuff is going to make him more attractive. But you have to be a guy who does this. It's not just some sort of automatic gift that you get. In most of these red pill guys, you know, it's, it's not, it's not happening. And even then, if you're like a 40 something year old guy and you've got all this stuff in your corner, you're not gonna have a terribly difficult time. I would say if you want girls in their 20s, you'll be able to attract women in their, in their 20s. But this is the final point I wanna mention here. These women, you're not gonna get every woman in their 20s because a certain number of women, I'd say probably it's about 20% of women in their 20s are attracted 20% of women are attracted to older men and maybe 20 to 30% are absolutely not. And then you have the middle, which kind of can be manipulated. Maybe don't prefer older men, but could be with an older man. So you're like about a third of women will be completely off limits to you. And two thirds are gonna be resistant, even if you do have your shit together quite a bit. So that doesn't mean there's not gonna be beautiful women who are half your age who are interested in you. It just means that you're gonna be drawing from a smaller pool. Whereas if you were 25 and probably half as established as the guy who's 45, you would still have an easier time getting a pretty girl in, your, in that same age bracket. So I guess the fundamental point I'm trying to make here is that you shouldn't plan your life around this bullshit concept that you, like because you're gonna just keep improving that you you should never ever pick a girl you should never ever commit you should never ever quote unquote settle as if that's the definition of settling this material concept understand that it's really more that you can maintain a lot of advantages as you're older but youth is the is always the biggest prize maybe it's especially so when you're a woman but it also is the biggest variable that works in your favor as a man. So don't squander it. And if you don't want to squander it, you got to learn how women operate. You got to learn how yourself operates. Get my masterclass, 18 plus hours of focused material on essentially the full spectrum of women. Module one talks about your own personal psychology. Module two talks about female psychology. Module three, game. Module four, dating. Module five, intimacy, relationships. Module six, advanced topics, spiritual integration. And it's just getting started. There's gonna be an update later this year that's gonna go way, way deeper into the, the intimacy and intimacy section. It is the encyclopedia of my work. So if you like these videos, you'll love the masterclass. Do not miss the opportunity to get it. Link is in the bio.